Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to visualize your gamepad inputs directly into XSplit Broadcaster for recordings and live streams. Stay tuned. In a recent video, we showed you step-by-step -step how to set up input visualizer for keyboard inputs and presses and mouse clicks as well, being able to show all of those on screen for recordings and live streams. But today, we're focusing on gamepads. If you have a PC gamepad or a Microsoft like Xbox gamepad, those work the best. PlayStation ones work too, but today, we're using this one here. This is my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Whatever you have, grab it and let's go. Okay, so if you have your game pads ready, uh, Microsoft controllers work the best. Of course, Xbox, any kind of PC compatible joysticks to work really well. Uh, PlayStation 1 should work too for you. Uh, this is a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller and it will connect to Windows PCs uh, via Bluetooth, but it's not 100% compatible per se. I think a few things won't work as far as inputs go, but I did test it out and most of the buttons do work. But again, if you're looking to put this on stream when you're recording games or live streaming, uh, it's probably best to go with a PC compatible controller or a joystick, so just keep that in mind. But we'll use this one for the example today anyway for the video. So we're going to go to Bluetooth settings. Click on the little icon down here. Right click and go to settings. You want to click add Bluetooth. Now you can click here if you have an Xbox controller. Uh, for me, I clicked on Bluetooth up here, and I found it better that way. And then I just push the sync button on the Pro Controller, which is in the front to the left of the USB port, and that will find the device. I already do have it here. It says Pro Controller is connected, so there you go. Just go through your basic steps here, connecting via Bluetooth, and you should be set to go for this part of the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to use this scene here as kind of our visualization scene. You have to go into the plugin store and export broadcaster. I'm going to add sources here, then click find more sources. If you watched our keyboard input visualizer, uh, this is pretty much the same functionality here, just with a gamepad or a joystick. So type in game pad visualizer, let it search and click here. So show your gamepad inputs in your presentation and show the world just how fast your combos are. So it is compatible with most controllers once again, but again, I think the best ones to use are PlayStation and Microsoft, Xbox, of course, PC compatible controllers would be the best bet for you here. Click on install. Once you're done, we're set to go there. Now we have to get the uh, actual plugin onto the screen. Click on add source, general widgets, and look for gamepad visualizer. And there we go. So we have our gamepad overlay here. There are fewer options here uh, than the keyboard visualizer has. With the keyboard visualizer, we could change the color of the glow and different settings like that. Here, it's more basic. There is less to it though. There's more of a controller. So I'll show you what we have to do here. I'm gonna right click on gamepad visualizer down here and move this over here a little bit. So there are fewer options here. We have MS style gamepad for Microsoft style gamepad, of course. Click on PS for PlayStation style. So it changes the look of the controller on your streams or recordings. It's also some different joysticks, eight button arcade stick, six button, also a hitbox arcade and WASD arcade stick as well. Now you see, as we cycle through these here, some have more options than the other ones. For instance, the hitbox arcade stick here, you can choose the skin to be light, dark, or transparent. Also joystick input, D-pad or left analog stick. And you can also remap some of the inputs too on some of the joysticks here. The eight button arcade stick also has the transparency option with the skin, dark or light, and also remapping here. The PlayStation style just has light or dark and no remapping of the buttons. And Microsoft here has just light or dark as well. Click on light for our tutorial today. And again, I'm using a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Again, it does connect via Bluetooth fine. It's just, it's not 100% supported per se uh, with this plugin. So we're not gonna actually get all the clicks we want. 
If I push A, we get all the face buttons here in real time, which is nice and really good. We get the ZL and ZR as well, and the left and right shoulder buttons. Again, all in real time here, working almost, um, well, perfectly, except for uh, the joysticks here. The analog sticks, uh, if you move up and down, all around, nothing happens. Only when you click them in do you actually get a response on the input visualizer. And the D-pad, you get nothing whatsoever out of it. So it's maybe a little bit of an incompatibility issue with the Nintendo hardware here, connecting into uh, this plugin. But uh, hopefully, maybe they'll add some tweaks or fixes to this. But again, uh, it works best if you have a PlayStation, Microsoft, Xbox, or PC compatible joystick or controller. But as you can see here, everything is in real time. So if you do a lot of fighting games, uh, Fortnite, first person shooters, platformers, this is a great way to showcase your skills on the controller and during gameplay, live on stream, or even in recordings. As with the keyboard input visualizer, we can uh, shrink down the controller by simply dragging and closing in or dragging out and making it bigger. So you can kind of put this wherever you want to on screen, drag it around, make it bigger or smaller, and move it into position on your stream layout. That way it's not really in the way of things. And if you're using one of those other joystick ones that the options give you, you can make those transparent as well. So a little bit better features over some of those controllers, but do try them out, test them. Let me know what works best for you. And there you have it, a really easy way to display your gamepad inputs directly into your recordings and live streams. If you're a video game content creator, whether you're recording or streaming live again, uh, this is a really cool feature to show uh, your inputs in real time. And if you're doing a fighting game, Fortnite, any kind of game that requires fast fingers and precise action on your part, I'm sure your audience wants to see that on screen too. So give it a try. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this tutorial and make sure you hit that like button for us and subscribe. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time.